Let's try writing another function, this time something that doesn't just print grumpy text over and over and over. Let's do something with some variation. How about generating a random dice roll, or a single die roll? So a number from zero, nope, there's no zero die, one to six. And we'll name this function something that makes sense, like roll die. So we need function, space, roll die, curly braces, and now we need the logic to generate a random number from zero to six. So let's roll equal, and then we'll do math.random. You know how much I'm not a fan of this syntax, math.random times six. And then we need to floor that, math.floor. Remember, math.random gives us a decimal, so it would be like 0 0.2. And then we multiply it by six in order to get a larger range. So we're no longer just from zero to one, we're going from zero to, I guess, right below six, because the largest decimal we'll generate is 0.9 something. We multiply by six, and then we floor it to get rid of that decimal. So now we have a number from zero to five but our dice roll or die roll should be from one to six, so we add one. The logic is not all that important. Really, we're still focusing on the fact that every time we call roll die, this code runs. This code happens to make a number from one to six, a random number, and then let's console.log rolled, and then string template literal, the roll. Refresh the page, nothing happens because we never executed this. We just registered it, we told JavaScript about it. So we will now execute it once we get rolled two, rolled three, four, five, cool. And we can do this within a loop if we wanted to. We can even call functions within other functions. So some games will have you roll a bunch of dice at the same time, like Yahtzee, I think you rolled five or six. Um, I know there's other, a bunch of other games, not much of a gambler, but let's make up a function called, how about throw dice? And throw dice will simply call roll die, how about six times? We could do it like this, or we could do it with a loop. But just to make it simple and clear that it's running six times, I'll do it manually by writing it out six times. A loop would probably make more sense if we wanted to have throw dice in the future, potentially change the number of rolls so we could have throw dice two, throw dice six for different games. But this is good enough, we're not there yet. We'll refresh the page, nothing happens. And that's because I haven't executed either function. So I'm gonna call throw dice, if I can spell it, which in turn calls roll die six different times. Each time this code runs and we get some number printed out. There we go. 461422. So we've seen more repetition of how we define a function, but also the new component here is that we can call functions from inside other functions. We can call them in loops, we can call them in conditionals, we can call them pretty much anywhere.